So first I'm going to peel the tab. And take the wrapping off. And then after a bit of struggle with the box, I finally managed to take it off. And we're just going to put the iPad Air aside and look at what's underneath it. So first we've got the paperwork. Then a USB-C to USB-C charging cable. And we've got a USB-C power brick. Time for that crispy peel. There's nothing else left in the box, so we're just going to put that aside. And then we've got the paperwork designed by Apple in California, obviously. And then we've got the basics how to of the iPad Air. So if you have no idea how to use it, it just gives you some basics, step by step guides to be able to use the iPad itself. And then you've got the two classic white Apple stickers, plus a bit more paperwork. And then we've got the iPad itself, so let's peel it. And let's turn it on. And a bit later, we've got the iPad on and let's open it, select our language, our country, and just go through a bit of the little settings that I have to do. And then that was sped up quite a lot, but that was the setup process. And then we're going to set up Touch ID. We're going to add another fingerprint. This is obviously split up. And then we're going to set a passcode. And we've got the option to import stuff from other devices. We typed in our Apple ID and these other terms and conditions. And that's just setting up the Apple ID. And it's telling us that we should turn on automatic updates, location services, Apple Pay, which I'm not going to use, iCloud Keychain, and Siri. Hi, I'm Siri. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. You can change it. I've decided that I prefer voice 2, so I've selected that, and I'm giving the phrases so it can recognize my voice, turning on a few other settings, and we've opened the iPad. And that was the unboxing, let's get straight into the first impressions and some basic specs. So for other first impressions, as I said, this iPad feels quite good in the hand. The fingerprint scanner is really fast and snappy, although I have noticed that you kind of have to press the button and then keep your finger on there for it to actually open the screen, or I should have to swipe up. So that can get quite annoying sometimes, but I'm getting used to it. This iPad comes with the A14 Bionic chip, 4 gigabytes of RAM, Wi-Fi 6, and a 28.6 watt hour battery. The battery seems to last me about 5 to 10 hours, depending on what I'm doing. Now, really quickly talking about this display, it's 10.9 inches. It's 2360 by 1640p, which means it's got 264 pixels per inch, and it's got a max 500 nits of brightness. 
I've had no problems with the brightness so far. I don't really plan on using the cameras on this iPad that much. I have a really good camera on my phone and it's way more easier to use. So I won't really be using the cameras on this iPad. But I have used the speakers quite a lot to watch a bit of YouTube and they sound pretty good. The display is really high quality and I'll tell you more in my full review of the iPad. I'll be making quite a few videos about it. Plus be sure to follow me over on Twitter at HowTheTechYT because I'll probably post lots of thoughts about this iPad on there. Okay, that's it. If you like this sort of content, be sure to like and subscribe as it really helps the channel out. Plus, you'll get to see more videos like this. Be sure to hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload again. And be sure to leave a comment down below of your thoughts or questions about this iPad out. Okay, I'll see you in the next one.